Alrighty guys, so today I'm going to show you how I made this lovely centaur. I have already copied my original's design over to this one so that we can more easily and quickly get through this video. Now what we're going to do first, well let me tell you what's going on so far. You'll see in a minute why her pants are, are colored like that. And you'll see in a minute the wings and the flower crown and everything. So what we're going to do first, which I've already done, is go to body and make sure you hide your character's shadow. This will be important in a second. And then you're going to want to immediately go to pets, find the cub pet, and select it. Now I've already positioned mine correctly. So what you're going to do is you're going to hide your character's legs so that they no longer have the legs. And then you're going to go back to the pet. How did I accidentally hide the head? You're going to go back to the pets, go back to the cub. Mine must have reset or something because it's it's not right, but we will fix that. Okay, so, nope, not that color. Oh my gosh, I have forgotten what color my deer was. That looks right. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this for now. Okay, so make sure that your main color on your deer body and your, your pants color are the same so that you can hide that little panel of pants that's left when you remove the legs. And then in order to do this, I have... Actually, let me try something. Oh my gosh, that actually worked. Sorry, I'm experimenting, guys. I know I should be giving y'all definitive directions, but it's not how it's working for some reason. Okay, so what we've got going on is we're going to move the wings. I used this wing because it kind of matches the one originally on the deer. And we're going to adjust the wing. For, for some reason, up is down with wings. And we're going to put that right... Oh, right. Okay. I'm going to put it right there so it matches with the wing the deer already came with. So we have that. And I don't think it's going to look quite the same. As my original but we're getting there okay so I have this flower over here on the top of her head this flower because on the original I had issues with the deer's face showing through and so I had this flower here by this ear and then, just to make that look like it belonged in the design, I added the red flower crown. So that it would match up. And then I, since it is spooky month, I did kind of a Halloween black and orange theme for her outfit. And then the orange eyes just kind of happened. Just kind of did. So I gave her a short shirt and a belt that matched the deer body and the sleeves. And the reason her hair is long is because if I had short hair, you'd be able to see that deer face. And that's not really ideal. I'm going to have to go figure out which, which thing she had. Okay, we'll go with that. We had this. And so she has her little ears on the side of her head. And 
And this is basically our centaur. Now let's see the differences between the original and the new one. Okay, so on the original, I did have it a bit bigger, it looks like. Looks like some of the stuff was positioned a little bit differently than I did than I have it on this one. And was a bit bigger on the flower crown, looks like. Yeah, it looks like I might have tilted it too much and not made it big enough. But you got the gist of that, and that is how you make a centaur in Gotcha Club. And for those of you who may not know what the word centaur means, it basically means half horse, half person. They're mythological creatures. And I hope you guys liked this fun little video, and I hope you'll check out some of the videos that Rose and Dia have been posting recently. I do love to see what they can create. Well, I guess it's bye for now, guys.